Redstone has changed in Minecraft 1.16. So today we're going to be taking a look at all the Redstone components and I'm going to be trying my best to explain how each and every Redstone component works based on my own knowledge. Even the one that you thought you already know about, turns out we are in Minecraft 1.16 and in 1.16 unfortunately the rules of Redstone has changed as well. So this is going to be a quite long video, I don't want to waste any time, let's just see what we can come up with. The first thing we're going to be looking at is the target block. Basically how this one works is that when you throw an item at it or you dispense an item on top of it It's going to give out a burst on output of 10 ticks which is equal to one second And the other thing you should know about this one is that it actually redirects the signal And the, way, the best way to explain that is by, is by doing this As you can see it changes the direction of the rest of the dust pointing it into itself And it, let's do that with any blocks to see that nothing happens The next one is called an observer So this one basically give a rest on output when there is a change on the back of it and the best way to explain that is by putting something like a lamp on its face and then putting something here and you see that we get a one tick output on the back and the other thing you should know about this is that it actually detects change so if you place a piston and decide to push this thing along it's also going to give a written output the third one is called a hopper the hopper basically works still work the same so if you place this item inside this block you're gonna think that because it's, this one is pointing into this but the thing that you should know is that it goes to the bottom before it starts at the top I'm gonna place an item in here and gonna show that what I'm talking about in a sec so I'll place an item in there but you will not you won't find it in here you will not find it in here and you'll find it at the bottom chest instead the next one is called a rotten lamp but because I use a texture pack mine looks a bit different because I like this one way better than the original texture so this one is called the redstone lamp and it takes both hot, hot power and soft power as you can see this block is soft powered because it's powered by redstone dust and then this one it can be able to be powered using soft blocks so that's what you should know about it let's just move on to the next one this is tripwire hook and then this is just a string so this simply works when you walk across this thing it's going to give out a redstone output so let's just place this here and then when you walk through this thing or, or touch this string it's going to update and it's going to give out a, a signal showing that there is something interfering with the string. The next one is called the redstone block. So a redstone block powers anything around it, repeaters, comparators and anything that is moving away from it including redstone dust. But the thing that it cannot do is power a adjacent block. So if you place a block here it's not actually powering this block. So that means you cannot take an output from this block right here. The next one is called the daylight sensor. A daylight sensor will give out a rest on output depending on the time of the day. If the time starts to move and because I stopped the time, but if it starts to move, the rest on signal coming out from this daylight sensor is going to greatly decrease. The next one is the king of all the components. It's called rest on. This is the main, main thing when it comes to rest on. So this is called the rest on dust and this technically works by just placing a block here. It's going to get powered. And then in 1.16, this thing does not work the same. As you can see, in 1.15, it's a dot in the computer version of Minecraft. But this time in 1.16, it's a plus. And a plus representing that it powers all the blocks around it. For example, if I were to take a block like this and then place it next to it. And then say, let me just take a redstone lamp and place it here. And then if I decide to power this redstone dust over here using, let's say, a redstone block, it's going to get powered. But there's something called redstone knocking. In 1.16, it's completely a new thing. We never saw it anyway. This is redstone locking. You're just gonna simply touch it. When you touch this redstone dust here, it's it's going to start powering all the blocks around it. Even the blocks below it is not it's not getting powered. Oh, sorry, the blocks below it does get powered, but the blocks around it does not get powered. But and then when you touch it again, it's unlocked. When you touch it again, it's locked. When you touch it again, it's unlocked. So when it's locked, is when it's making a dot. And then unlocked meaning that it's that the next one is called the rest on touch so this simply this one works this way when this plug is powered this goes off and if it's unpowered like right now it still stays on so if you power the blocks that is onto that means it's going to go off if i take this and place it right here it's not going to get powered because it does not power a jason block i hope you understand let me repeat so if this thing powers adjacent component anything around it it powers it excluding the point the block that is onto 
it does not power a JSON block. It only power blocks that is pointing into. For example, actually, I will show you that it does not power a JSON block. So now, but this time it's powered because this block, this rest is pointing into this block. That means this block is hard powered. As you can see, we can take a Roston output from it. When you run a Roston dust, soft this time it's soft powered. Even if it's hard powered, it's going to go off. And this is quite useful because you can make things like no gate. It open many many gates when it comes to redstone. You can just stack them up like this, going all the way up. You just put them, or you just gonna alternate them. This one helps you make the redstone go up. So now you're coming to a lever. So a lot of people get this wrong. They said that a lever hard power all the blocks around it, but that's not true. It actually soft power all the blocks around it. The top and the, the side. The only block that is hard power is the block that is under it. This is the only block that is hard power because we can take a rest and output for it. So as you can see, this anything around it gets powered, but this one is actually not hard power. As you can see right here, nothing is happening to that rest and dust over there. It's because this block is soft powered. So it soft power everything around it, but hard power only the block that is below it. So it, it also powers hard soft power the blocks that is above it. So let's move on to the next one. So this one is called the button. A button works exactly like how I explained a lever. But instead a button does not give a rest on a constant rest on output. It gives a, a, a 10 ticks rest on output which is 1 second. As you can see we have added variable of button which we're gonna get into in a sec. So this works exactly like a lever. So the most important difference between them is that this one does not give a rest on, a constant rest on output. As you can see, this block is hard powered, but all the blocks around it are soft powered. So if we, if we were to place a block here and then place a rest on dust here, this rest on dust is was not going to get powered because this block here is soft powered. Whew. Moving on, we have a, an oak button. So an oak button will give. It's the same as the this button over here, but the difference is that this one give a 10 tick output. This one give a 15 tick output. So let's just quickly move on to the next one. The next one works exactly like this one, as well as 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 this one. The difference is just the color. And the, the reason why they work all the same is because they are made of the same material. As well as, no, this one that actually, yes, as well as this one. It will write an output of 15 until we get to this one, which does not give a rest on output of 15. So this one gives a rest on output of 10, which is equal equivalent to one second. And this one gives a rest on output of about eight. I'm not sure if it's not five, it's eight. I think it's five. Wait, it is one second. Sorry, I thought I actually never studied that one, but I think it's one second. So I'll go check out the answer and see what it is. So this one is called a, a powered rail. Simply when you place a cut here, it's going to get powered and then it's going to start moving But you get the idea it's going to get moving without you putting any effort into it and So this is called a minecart with hopper when you place it down here It's going to stay there then if you place a normal hopper below it, it's going to Throw its blocks here so if like you want to try to hide your input or anything like that You can always use this as long as you remember where the you add is the ribbon block to this block that you want it to be into. You can actually have to place it on top of it. Sorry. As you can see, it disappeared because it's going to there. But there's a point which you reach where it does not get in. And the reason for that is it will be full at that time. The next one is a bit of a silly one. It's this. An iron block. The reason why I choose this is because this thing's mainly used. Mainly, it's mainly used when it comes to redstone. So I just consider it redstone. It's not a redstone block, but I just consider it a component as well. Because, come on, anyway, I use this in redstone components, including wool. But the the most one that is used for for like covering your build or anything like that is one those block. And most people like it before because it's so hard and it's very, very strong to mine and anything like that. So the next one is a dispenser. Isn't this obvious? I mean, it's a dispenser. You just it's going to dispense item. So a dispenser is going to dispense item. It's quite obvious of just how it sounds. So I put eggs in there. Let's leave it. The next one is a jukebox. Hmm. I 
have to explain much about this one. Isn't it obvious? So you're simply just going to power, you're going to send the rest of the output into it, like a clock. So you actually need a clock to actually make this thing work. And you're just, you're just going to get a tone. If you want to change it, just make sure that it's turned off and you're just going to keep pressing this thing. So it does, it's, it's, quite, it's quite obvious. And now we're going to most important ones, the pistons. You cannot move anything without having this guys around. So this one is a sticky piston and when you power it, it's going to push its block and when you unpower it, it's going to retract this block. A normal piston, when you power it, it's going to push its block but when you unpower it, it's not going to retract this block. Yes, I'm right. So the next one is TNT. So simply this one works by, when you send the rest on the input into it, it's going to, I mean, even the name says, it's TNT, it's an explosive. So when you give it a rest on signal, it's going to, oh no. <sighs> what, have I, what did I do that for? Moving on, now the next one is called a lectin. So it's going to give you a signal depending on which page you are on the lactin so let me just quickly grab this here and it's going to give you a resonant output this requires some card some some kind of math if you don't understand just comment below i'll make a video separate for this one so let's just go into the next one which is every so this one simply works this way so right now we are on one tick delay one tick okay so this one when you give it a weak signal you're going to always increase the output so the output is going to be strong than the input always it's going to be 15 it always it's always the output is always 15 it's on one ticks which means that it want, it gave one ticks of a, one tick of a second to give out its output so if you put on two ticks and if you do this it's going to take two ticks of a second three ticks of a second and four ticks of a second this one it's 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 quite complicated so this one get the output the same signal that is getting in so right now we are having eight rest on signal and the output is going to be eight as well even if you decide to put you can actually extend this by putting another one onto the end of the another one still we will get eight we still get the same amount that we are getting outside and the reason for that is because the comparator is taking out eight and this one is collecting that eight and taking out another eight and you're going to go all the way there so Simply retracting mode is when the slide is on. So this one is 15 minus 8. It's, it's quite intimidating. If you, Again, if you don't understand how this one works, just comment below. And this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Consider subscribing if you really enjoyed. If this video really helped you. And this has been Hash. And I'm out. This video took forever to make. So thank you very much for watching.